Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Uh, so, do you ever think what is the difference between machine learning, data science, artificial intelligence, deep learning? These are pretty confusing topics and it's really important to have a good understanding of these topics. Uh, so, why so? Because these is a future and then if you are, uh, like if you have your own business, if you want to change your career, you want to uh, grow uh, in the technology or you are a fresher or you want to switch your job so this technology is growing like hell and then uh, if you have a good understanding of these technology at least you can make some good decisions about your career about your business so in this video I will provide you a comparison between machine learning versus data science versus artificial intelligence and versus deep learning also and by end of this video you will have a fairly good idea what these terms means and how they differ from or relate to each other so let's get started so we will start with uh, artificial intelligence so if you ask what is artificial intelligence and a lot of people will think as it as a shiny robots which will take our jobs or a lot of science fiction uh, but if you look at the Oxford dictionary definition of artificial intelligence that is what we get is the study and development of computer systems that can copy intelligent human behavior so in the world of technology and computer science artificial intelligence relate to human like intelligence intelligence constructed by computer so it refers to a capability of computer and a machine to imitate the characteristics of human brain by replicating its intelligence uh, looks pretty fancy <laughs> so uh, let's look into the history of AI so in the mid 1950s John McCarthy who is known as the father of intel artificial intelligence so from him his definition of AI was the science and engineering of making intelligent machines and the surge so the development uh, the surge in the development of artificial intelligence is mainly dependent on access of available large amount of data and that's why like uh, like many years we we didn't see the improvement we didn't saw the improvement in artificial intelligence uh, but as now we have access to huge amount of data so the evaluation and technologies are allowing the data process and manipulating better than humans so broadly there are two types of artificial intelligence one is narrow ai and the other is general ai so narrow ai is a type of ai which perform a single take so if it, it's being able to carry out specific tasks which intelligent system have been taught without being sophisticately programmed so that is why it is called narrow ai to give you a better understanding it's siri of apple user an example of this are self-driving car voice recognition to help uh, basically radiologist pick up the tumor so there are many examples and uh, so narrow ai is basically based on machine learning and deep learning so we are slowly taking a transition towards from AI to machine and deep learning so a uh, better way to understand uh, is AI is constructed on a set of algorithms which try to imitate human intelligence and machine learning is one of these algorithms and deep learning is a subskill of machine learning techniques so machine learning consumes data and uses statistics to better learn the data uh, in turn improving the ability to solve the tasks so machine learning is made of both supervised and unsupervised learning and these are some types of machine learning so supervised learning learns on a label data set allowing us to produce output based on previous data whereas unsupervised learning use unlabeled data so to learn on discover unknown patterns in the data so basically they form the clusters by grouping those data together and if we move towards deep learning so it's also type of machine learning technique that try to imitate the human brain by putting input data through a biological inspired neural network uh, so which contains a number of hidden layers through these hidden layers the data is processed making connection and creating patterns so now like siri alexa google assistants and 
are some of the examples like application that uses deep learning to understand so uh, so when facebook recognize your friend in a, in a picture or netflix recommend you just kind of these movies it's deep learning behind the scene so from news aggregation fake news detection to self driving car natural language processing visual recognition visual assistant deep learning based application is now deployed in many many areas so deep learning breakthrough are driving the ai boom so yes deep learning is a big deal right now and if we move towards the general ai so uh, it's it's a bit of more complexity to it so it tries to mirror human in, uh, intellect and using its ability to learn and apply knowledge to solve problems so we are now going through the process of transitioning from narrow ai to general ai and in order to achieve this computer hardware needs to be advanced in computational power to perform at better rate so if if we summarize all this together and if we see some some examples of artificial intelligence so for speech recognition is basically uh, the this is a process of enabling a computer to recognize spoken words and have the ability to respond like this enables software to understand interpret general gen, generate human language examples like language translation and email filtering and then there is image recognition so this process can classify text people object as well as moving images so examples are fingerprint id system self driving car fake news face recognition so there are pretty much many many applications so i covered some broadly uh, some of them so now that summarize basically that's because as artificial intelligence machine learning deep learning all these are very closely connected now here comes the data science so data science as the name suggests is about data so it's a multidisciplinary field focused on drawing insights so that can help an organization make better decisions so for instance by analyzing the data collected by a bank you may discover credit worthy customer or to identify financial products that new customer buy so today availability of huge volume of data implies more revenue due to data science so using predictive analytics it is possible to identify hidden patterns in the data that you didn't know even existed so for an instance a travel e-commerce company may discover that people flying american airlines to amsterdam opt for luxury canal cruise tour in the city so this is one one good example so that can be done using the data science and using prospective analytics the company may further learn that people flying the first car prefer even cruise while those who fly economy car book bike tours so that's pretty interesting so you may be wondering why so many data science applications sounds like ai application so well this is because data science overlaps with the field of ai in many areas data scientist uses the tools such as statistical modeling visualization method hypothesis testing and machine learning algorithms so this conclude about data science uh, what is data science and how this is helpful so uh, now i i am sure you get some good understanding of what are these different topics and if you still have any question please leave a comment in the comment section below and then please please subscribe to this channel and uh, i will keep making this more and more videos uh, based on your comments and also uh, uh, if if you subscribe it it gives me a pretty good sing- signal that you like my video and you want me to keep making these videos and thanks for watching